What is up, guys? McDowell's back here with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Project Ascension Legendary Enchant. How many are viable, and do you have a lot of options in the classless world of Warcraft? Or does it actually get outclassed by retail? Wow. And we're going to be looking at all of the Legendary Enchants for DPS specs on Project Ascension that have any kind of DPS orientation. So exclusively PvP, you know, uh, enchants won't be counted, I guess. But that's going to be fine because there are going to be almost 100 enchants here. And what I find out might surprise you so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's get into it so guys recently i've just been trying to find something brand new i want to give a quick aside before we make this video i want you guys to keep the following facts in your head in vanilla wow there were only five viable classes that were for dps this is pretty much true throughout the entire expansion. Everything else would be considered not viable or um, it takes too much effort to get it close, like maybe Ellie Sham. Okay, but in modern WoW, there are currently 24 DPS specs that are viable, but every single one of those plays different and actually has a fully fleshed out kit and progression made for that specific class something that ascension will not have because many enchants will share similar play styles many enchants will do the same type of magic will do the same type of thing and so technically you're going to get a lot less out of it i just want to make that clear okay before we go into anything with what's actually viable what's almost viable and what's not viable i want you guys to keep it in your head there are at least 23 unique classes that are playable viable at the highest levels of play and uh well you'll find out how many there are in Project Ascension, Classless WoW, where you're supposed to be able to pick anything you want from any spec and build it from scratch. So what I want to do first is simply go over all of the legendary enchants and rank them by viable, almost viable, or we could say viable with a caveat. You'll hear that said. It's the same thing. And uh, not viable. I do want to say that this is going to be the criteria in my mind for each of these different um, categories. Viable means that it's something that can compete at the highest levels. It is doing the bare minimum required to, let's say, perform at a plus 30 uh, mythic plus dungeon or do the highest level ascended raids where you're actually trying to push how fast can you get it done. Um, and then we're going to have not viable, which is going to be something that literally at its absolute peak will not even get you through um, like a mythic plus five, a mythic even zero, maybe if it's some of these actually, uh, because it's simply that bad. Then the one in the middle could be just that, anything in between that is still usable. So something that almost pulls enough DPS and it's passable, but you're not going to get the fastest times or something that is a lesser version of one of the actual viable specs. So a lot of legendary enchants seem to do very similar things and they get left to the wayside and then other things replace them. And then you just have two legendary enchants that basically use the exact same spells, but one's just better. So that's something to keep in mind or things that are maybe exceptional at only one thing like a uh, very good AOE, but absolute awful single target. So there's a lot of AoE meme specs, Hellfire stuff can sometimes be super good AoE, but not so good single target, depending on how it's built or what your gear level is, uh, stuff like that as well. So keep that all in mind and let's look at the legendary enchants. Let's just go ahead and count them and see which ones are actually used. In fact, I'll just simply go down the list and we'll just skip the tank and healing stuff as we do it. So, uh, okay, Soulbender, Dark Surgeon, White Walker, not viable. Okay, cut, cut, my bad. This is viable with a caveat. I'm a little salty. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to make edits here and there, uh, you know, where I think it's applicable. White Walker is viable in niche situations. It's not really the best at anything from what I can see, but I shouldn't say not viable. So do keep in mind, we'll jump back in here from time to time if my previous past self um, misjudged a little bit, right? Razor Claws, not viable. Fire Watch, I heard it had PvP applicability once. I think it's very average. I'm gonna say not viable by that. Elemental Assassin, never seen it once. Maybe it's good out there, but because I've never seen it and I've done quite a lot of raids and M plus at the higher levels, I'm gonna say not viable. Midnight Flames, not viable. Spell Shredder, what I'm working on right now, where the first time I tried it, I got 2k DPS. The second time, 2.2k. 73 freaking item level, and 
and I've got the enchants on, as you can see, at least my theory craft at the moment. Not viable, dude. Uh, let's see. Not Crimson Champion. Heavyweights. Viable. Okay, but old, old, old. Holy Ascension. I'm gonna go not viable. Stormbringer. Not viable. Primordial Fury. Like, what even is that one? You know what I mean? Not viable. Consumed by fire. I saw somebody in season seven try really hard to make this work and they almost did it. It still wasn't even great then. I'm going to say not viable. Blade Master. That's a tank spec. Seed of life. Blessing of the divines. Bulwark. Compound power. Not viable. Hot hands. Uh, no, not viable. Evoker. Um, not viable. Blood and guts. Viable single targets. Double down, not viable. Prophet of Wrath, OP, OP. Shadow counter, that's not for PvE. One with the light, I believe that is viable. Cauterizing flames, not viable. Master of Shadows, not viable. Temporal shift, uh, I've, I used to see this a lot. I used to especially see this in PvP. I do not see this in PvE. I'm gonna say not viable. Stormborn, I have seen this work. Viable with a caveat. Mana Fiend, probably still viable for single targets. Might still be decent for AoE. Do not see it anymore though. So I'm just gonna give it a pass, right? That's really, we'll say viable, fine. Holy Radiance, no, no, no. Uh, tooth and Nail, lol. What, why is this a legendary? So they actually remade this and turned it into an epic enchant the day after I recorded this. So hey, there is actually some progress with this one. Martial Crescendo. Awful. Beast and Blade nerfed. Okay, I might be biased against this one because I don't like pet mechanics on Ascension. Astral Bomber, meh. Thunder Slam, viable and very good. Disciple of the Tides, blah, blah, blah. Battle Fervor, how is that still legendary? But doesn't even matter, we'll move on. Fell Strike, why is that a legendary? Not viable. Controlled Burn, probably not viable because there's a better version for uh, Chaos Bolt Conflag builds out there. There's actually two and uh, they're both meh. Unbounded Deathbringer, blah, blah, blah. Moving on down. Wind Rager, viable. Arcane Gunslinger, <sighs> the, the mana problems suck. The AoE is awful. It's probably good for PvP. I'm gonna go not viable. Okay, ultimately, we end up counting this one as viable with a caveat. Tidecaller, blah. Astral Storm, bleh. Lava Sweep, viable. Paratrooper, come on, man. Endless Agony, why? Uh, Unrelenting Wrath, come on. It's just so bad. Elemental Destruction, theoretically viable. Did a video where I did good DPS with it once upon a time, but takes a lot of effort to play, but it is viable. It's not very fun for most people, but it is viable. Bellborn, no. Hoplite, not viable. And... Uh, PvP, but come on, it has no PvE applicability. Night of the Eclipse. I heard that is in fact viable for single target with dog AoE. So because the AoE is so bad, it's kind of blah. I'm going to say viable with a caveat. Fingers of Death, not viable. Overheating is way outdated at this point with all the fire builds. Lucifer, not viable and convoluted. Blood Venom, not viable and convoluted. Social distancing, come on, Ascension. <laughs> it was funny when legendary enchants actually almost matched this power level when they were all procs and passives you know what i mean not even close demolisher sadly not viable because the mongoose bite makes no sense here and why is that even a thing centric elementalist hydromancer viable for pvp awful in every other way so not viable word of healing blah deranged druid bleh come on guys crazy cultists like it's like they shouldn't be there uh forbidden technique pvp so not viable danny zealot it's all these random ones that or from a different bygone era. Battle Mage, not viable. Abiding Fell Energy, not viable. Templar of Flame, niche applicability in the AoE sphere and has tank builds, but in terms of PvE, not viable. Growing Light, Bled, Dominant Ward Shield, Benevolent Crusader, Astral Tempest, no, 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 moving down the list. Frost Bomb, could be viable. Don't see it anymore, I think it's outclassed. So because of that alone, I'm gonna say not viable. Aimed Explosive Shot, not viable. Frozen Chaos is viable. Um. Don't see it a lot, though. I think it's more single target, so it's kind of viable with a caveat. Uh, Titanic Mutilate is viable, but it's kind of a worse Wind Rager, so you only really play it if you want to be a hipster, so viable with a caveat. Gorilla Trapper, not viable. Solo the Warden, we all know that's just a leveling spec. Tools of War, niche applicability. You can go, like, um, Ranger builds with it, You can, it, but here's the thing. It's all single target, so viable with a caveat. Locust Ranger is the same deal. Uh, Dragon Warrior, not viable. Purification by Light, not viable. It's outclassed in every way. Unchained, not viable. Holy Supernova from a bygone era. Loved it when it was a thing. Should definitely be an epic enchant now. Not viable. Undaunted Blah. Seething Flames, viable. But it's just explosive shot, so that's not really creative. Unbounded Spell Slinger, not viable. Amalthus adds Curse. Cool. Wish this worked, man. Not viable. Relentless, blah, blah, blah. Blooming Growth. Okay, moving on. Nature's Fervor. Ambidextrous, not viable. Tree of Wrath, not a DPS spec. Deathbringer, not viable. Snowblind. 
Uh, one of the probably coolest ones, I thought this was one of the worst things that actually came out, ended up being one of the best. Who would have thought? Uh, that's actually the coolest thing. I will tell you with confidence that there are no others like this, though. Snowblind, though, definitely viable with no caveats. Uh, Harbinger of Pestilence, if it's anything like Season 7, is still viable. Now, probably a little bit better now with Seed of Corruption, so I'm gonna say viable. Ice Lash, don't believe it's viable. Whispers of the Old Gods, not viable. Righteous Zealot, not viable. Frost Lich, not viable. Uh, moving Twilight Paragon, not viable. So outclassed. Fury of the Titans, not even close to viable. So outclassed. Harbinger of Flame, Spell Slinger, not viable. Predator's Wrath, I mean, it's like, if it's only single target, and you have no other skills, and it takes more effort than everything else, not viable. Uh, Total Eclipse, not viable. Pure Shadow is certainly still viable if it's anything like Season 7, so viable. Warcry, not viable. Consecrated Strikes, it's the same as what we talked about before, so viable, but you know, you don't really play it in a cool or unique way. And what I mean by that is that all of the Holy Specs play the exact same, they just have like a few different percentage points in what abilities are doing the most damage, but they really do just all do the same thing and look the same. At this point, they need to understand that they've created this game where you are picking a class. The first thing I would do if I was on the dev team is just give all of these enchants a pass. Build them in like five different ways, right? Um, and then just see, like, do any of them compete? And if that's not the case, what's the best play style? Maybe top two best if they have multiple ways to play them. And then I would immediately try to see how I can go out of my way to increase those numbers so that people can play them. But who, what am I, right? I'm just a dude that makes videos. Shadow Visions, not viable. Festering Wound, not viable. Ice Barrage, it's the same thing as the other ice one we talked about. They play the exact same, but one has an extra spell, um, which was, it was like Ice Ball, Frost Bomb. That's what it was down here. So I'll say viable, but it's like outclass. So it's like such a niche viable viable with the caveat deadly bite not viable flame on I think it is viable but fire builds I, I don't really see them a lot in PvE You do obviously always see scorch builds in PvP because you can move while casting but I'm gonna go not viable Overflow booming thunder blem mending shadows or mending tides actually a saw a swaging So you guys try to tell me how to say this this is one of those words Let me be real with you guys when I was a kid I went to this tree and I thought this said subletty sub subletty Subility and it took me a long time because there's no reason for you to know English and think that that word is sounding the way It's supposed to sound. I learned that it was subtlety. There's no D in it It just it makes no sense and so you guys can hate all you want molten earth It's not viable why because lava sweep completely outclasses it Can I make it work like some of these you can almost make work? Those are all my viable with a caveat thing You're gonna probably be bad at something but really good at another or kind of just meh overall But better than most uh, that's where molten earth kind of stands lava sweep is just better but you can make it work if you try so viable with a caveat and there's a lot of those right righteous flames never seen it so i can only imagine with all the good players in this game that it's not viable and that's a pretty good metric by the way guys demonic influence not viable um again there's aoe meme builds you can hellfire it up so okay viable uh wild fellfire that's the way to play chaos bolt conflag if it's anything like season seven is viable but it might be outclassed at this point so let's just say viable with a caveat it could be just fully viable and then eldritch knight not viable because we're not talking about tanks. So, what did we come out with with that? Well, let me edit it and we'll figure it out. 11 minutes later. This is what I've got going on in a simple notepad right now. Every dash signifies the fifth, right? So I kind of almost Roman, it's like tallies, you could say. And I did go over it for a second. So um, some things I said were viable with a caveat, but I went over it. I thought that's actually viable, vice versa, something not viable. So you have to trust me on the final count within a few um, you know, points. But for viable, 12. 12. Now, let's go ahead and count the not viable, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70 freaking legendary enchants that are 100% not viable, but are in the game and you're supposed to look at them for DPS. What the hell? That is the point. It's not like even close to okay. And then viable with a caveat, which means you're only really good in like one specific area. It's kind of meme -y, but like at the end of the day, if you were to join a guild and try to compete outside of memes, you'd probably go to one of these specs up here. And we've got a whopping 14. So that gives you a potential of 26 different things that you could play with less than half of those really being worth your time. And then what? 70! 70 enchants that are simply unviable. 
What? I mean, the fact of the matter is a lot of these viable ones play the exact same as these viables with a caveat, I think like Molten Earth versus Sweeping Strikes, but you're kind of just adding a Pyroblast and a Fireball and you can even play those as well with Molten Earth, you know what I mean? Just for like, what? The same exact play style. Like they all do the same thing. If So like you have to think about that. It's like out of these 12 viable specs, how many of them are you going to find fun? And then out of the 14 that you could kind of make work if you're desperate, how many of those are you going to find fun? And how many of those play the exact same but just do less DPS as the 12 that are actually viable? And then out of all these 65, where's the potential? It, there's a lot. So that's what I wanted to bring some attention to today. So what can I say, guys? I'm still in the process of making new builds, figuring out new stuff, using my Ass Candy Great Sword of the Brotherhood Heroic right now, and uh, just trying to find things that are actually new and fun. The problem is, in my, you know, endeavors with 14 pages of enchants at this point, to create something brand new, I've realized that most things don't work, and that's why I made this video, so I can bring some attention to it so we can get some changes. That's what this video is for. A little bit on the saltier end, I kinda guess, but I'm I mean, how do you say there's 65 unviable things in a game you love in a happy way, right? But I hope you guys can support this. Like the video if you want Ascension to make changes, because if they can make some changes, not only do you get more videos and more content, but your fellow player, or at least the people I play with if you're just a viewer, right? They are going to be happier. So in my mind, like the video, push this idea that, you know, we need to get some major changes through and uh, understand that what that means is more people are going to be happy. And that's the point, dude. Literally, that's the point. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, big doubles out.